logarithmic equations using the natural logarithm. Okay, first one on the left, let's subtract off the 5 so that we can get closer to isolating our logarithm. So after subtracting 5 from both sides, we would have ln of x minus 3 equals 7 minus 5, which is the number 2. And now we have a logarithm. ln is the natural logarithm, which is a base of e. So to cancel that out, we're going to raise e to both sides of the equation. So e to the left side and e to the right side. And this is going to have the advantage of canceling out the natural logarithm. So what would be left over? It looks like an x minus 3 equals e squared. And so the last step would be to add 3 to both sides, which would mean that x is equal to e squared plus 3. Okay, that's the exact answer if somebody wished to have it to an approximation here. I'm just breaking out a calculator to figure out that e squared plus 3 to two decimal places of accuracy would have been 10.39. 10.39 to two decimal places of accuracy. Uh, if you need, a, so we can do that in a calculator. Okay, on the right hand side, 3 plus 2 ln of 1 minus x equals 5. So first step, we'll subtract 3, so that way we get 2 ln of 1 minus x equals to 2. The logarithm is still not quite isolated and need to divide by 2 to get closer to that goal. So the 2's will cancel and we get ln of 1 minus x is equal to 1. Now for the cancellation of the logarithm, we can use e and raise both sides e to those respective powers. So we'd be left with a 1 minus x equals e to the first out power, which is e. And then, uh, let's see, just subtract 1 from both sides, so that negative x equals e minus 1. And then divide both sides by negative 1, so that x equals 1 minus e. So it looks like in this case, x is equal to 1 minus e. And again, if you wished to uh, use a calculator to figure out what this actual number is, 1 minus e to two decimal places of accuracy is negative 1.72. Negative 1.72. Okay, that's good. Why don't you try one on your own here now? Try to do this one. 3 ln of 2x minus 1 plus 4 equals 11. Assuming you paused the video and gave this a good old shot, let's subtract 4 from both sides of this equation. So we get 3 ln 2x minus 1 equals to 7. Divide both sides by 3. We're going to get some fractions here. That's okay, we're not scared. ln of 2x minus 1 equals 7 thirds. Raise both sides e to those powers so that we can cancel out the logarithm. 2x minus 1 equals e to the 7 thirds. And now we're into something that's more linear, that's linear and easier to work with. Add 1 to both sides, e to the 7 thirds plus 1. And then finally divide by 2. So our final answer is going to be x equals e to the 7 thirds plus 1 all over 2. Again, just for a little bit of extra, if you wished to put this into a calculator and figure out what the numerical, the decimal answer is, e to the 7, e to the 7 thirds plus 1 divided by 2 to two decimal places of accuracy would be 5.66.